Yo, what's going on? I like getting the hiccups right before you go live. <laughs> it's the worst. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Hiccups. <clears throat> Socks. Hi. How are we doing? Hello. 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 Hey, drummer. How are you? Uh, so I'm over here at the raid farm because we've been drastically low on supplies and Grian hit me up this this morning He's like, uh, can you make emerald machine make emeralds? So I did that for a little bit. I need gunpowder as well and uh, Hiccup I uh, Oh, wow, these hiccups are gonna be bad Yeah, hi uh, I need some gunpowder because I think uh, one of the things we're gonna do the second half of the stream today is we gotta start getting uh, we gotta start collecting lodestones. We're gonna need like 50 lodestones. Hiccup. So we're gonna get uh, a ton of uh, netherite scraps and all that garbage today. Uh, yeah, gunpowder for TNT, exactly. <clears throat> but I've used it all for for uh, rockets. Oh my gosh, these hiccups. I apologize. Ask impulse for lodestones. I mean, that's a thing I could do, I suppose. I, I know he's got a couple, but yeah, we need a uh, we need a lot. Ugh, we just got these like a second before we started streaming. It's the worst. Ugh. Well, that's a lot of that's a lot of terracotta. Um, but the most important thing we're doing today, as you guys probably saw in the stream title or in the tweet. If you follow me on the tweeter tweeters, uh, we're going to be trying to design a scoreboard today. Pick up, try to design a scoreboard for decked out. I was thinking like starting to think about like the pregame stuff. I want to get started on that. The entry hall and the shops and maybe not the shop, but, you know, polishing out the scoring system and stuff like that. Um, and uh, Vassar, the wisest. How are you? Welcome. Um, yeah, I could just borrow some gunpowder from Impulse. I know. 
We'll see. I'm either going to steal some from him or we got to come back and run the raid farm a little bit until we get at least a shulker full. Anyway, with the, with the scoreboard, I want to do something a little bit more... A little bit more impressive than last time. Last time we just had a sign and I just wrote names on it and stuff. So I think I want to do something with... Uh, so Bob Maple, you're not going to let me finish these sentences, are you? God. Hiccups. Hiccups. Bailey Bailey, I know, sub bomb. God. So, I can't even talk. It's the worst, right as I'm about to hit go. Hey, would you like a healthy dose of hiccups? Sure. Ah, oh, I ate lunch too fast, I think. Uh, anyways, let's head over to uh, to the base. Syrup of Maple, thank you so much. That is legit bonkers of you. I appreciate that so much. Hi, Piggy. Ugh. The hiccups. So anyways, as I was trying to say like 27 times here, uh, I want to do an armor stand, not an armor stand, a... <laughs> it's never going to happen. I want to do a scoreboard that's a little bit more interesting than just a sign. I was thinking of using armor stands, like kind of floating, but where you can see the names. Well, you'll see what I'm talking about. Do you have marshmallows? It works for your daughter. Uh, I think your daughter's playing with the marshmallows there. Blueberry muffins, how are you? I need some milk sog, I know, right? Uh, okay. <clears throat> Take a deep breath and swallow, I know. They're gone. Totally gone. Elroni, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Maybe, maybe they're gone. I'm not sure. Broken Warlock, thank you so much. Comedy Robo Monkey. <laughs> there you go. Milk Sog, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys with the subs and everything too. Okay, so, uh, we gotta do a little bit of science today and you guys are gonna help me out. We're gonna use this magic book here. I haven't, this is basically an idea I had like about 45 minutes ago and I was like, mm, maybe we'll mess around with that and stream and embarrass ourselves as we usually do. I need a whole ton of, uh, armor stands, which I believe smooth stone sticks and something else. Do I even have, I got that that that'll do science is best shared yeah uh what's the uh, oh, i can do it now bam pick up uh more more eight maybe maybe it'll do i think it'll do uh. ninja thank you so much what's up silver it's going good it's going real good uh this this morning, I made a little bit more progress on key distribution and how I want to do it. There's formulas involved and stuff, which I'm not going to get into, but uh, there's three basic ways you're going to get, you could get keys, I think. One is, I think I'm probably going to give a key out to everyone once a day. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that. You guys are crazy. Thank you so much. Uh, you can buy the keys from the shop, of course. And uh, more importantly, I'm going to do like a weighted distribution system of keys based on who places wh where in each of, of the in the previous phase. So like if you come in sixth place in the previous phase, you'll get a lot more keys to help you kind of blue shell you to the top, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, burp. Where if you come in first place with the phase, you're not going to get any bonus keys, but you will have keys in other opportunities. But anyways, we're not we're not going to go around that. You, should, you could hide shulker boxes around again. I know I could. I don't want to. Pendle, thank you. Oh, the hiccup. <laughs> Use some beverages. I got I got my, my beverage right here, but thank you so much. You, I think you mean a different beverage, though. Arena, thank you so much for the $8. I appreciate you. Uh, for, some, for whatever reason, my totem offhand data pack 
It's supposed to have this high totem offhand data pack is always working and it doesn't work today. So bleh. that's unfortunate. Yeah, I got to figure out what's going on with that because I hate looking at that thing. It's super annoying. Uh, changing your name to Tango Take Up. Please don't. Please don't. F3T might fix it. I uh, dealt it. I've been reloading resources. Impulse had the same issue. OK, that's good to know. Sounds like we got a lot of people on today. Look at this. We got a full crowd. <laughs> okay. We have some armor stands. So I have a couple different ideas of how to do a scoreboard here that I'm kind of excited about. Ahsoka, thank you for 25 months. Um, it's amazing. <laughs> Kraus, no! Uh, we'll go with some of the simpler ones first. Uh, in fact, let me, I want to get more of the smooth stone because I like it. I hate that I have to cook it, but I like it. Is it, wait, it's not that one. It's, uh, wait, how do, is, do you cook the stone or do you cook the, that's going to make, this is it, right? This makes the smooth stone now? This stuff here? I think so. I always forget. Correct. Okay. I was, I was afraid it was going to make some cracked variant or something like that. But that's only if you cook the bricks. There it is. Okay, uh, we'll get those going. We've got we got 15 here. So, blah. There's a couple options here. Let's uh let's grab some b -b 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 bone blocks just as a as a background here. This this right here is giving me an idea. Do that. Skadoodle this over here. All right. I'm I'm I have no idea what the actual scoreboard will look like and stuff so we're not focusing too much on appearances here it's mostly just like you know what i mean like the, the format of it and how we display the scores i will uh, i will make it look better if i if i can okay idea number one and this is probably the simplest is it's kind of placeholder yeah is to do something like this okay something like that and all of these ideas are based on the same premise invisible armor stands with maybe a head maybe a, a hermit head on top of them and then named like you know impulse 14 points right scar dash 12 points something like that so if i do this right uh, you know so the higher your standing this would be like first place down to whatever place down here this is obviously the simplest. No redstone, no nothing. And I just, you know, once every phase of the game, which is about a week or so, I I just do this and I just come in here and update these. So this is what I want to start experimenting with. Let me get some some heads, some player heads, uh, which I still. Yeah, OK, Zed, Scar and Enderman. Sounds good. Uh, if you did a second layer behind, you could have more hermits on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hold on. We're going to get into other versions. This is like the simple one here. What I want to do, though, is like put that ugliness there. And then I do, I haven't done these all season, so I'm, I'm extremely rusty. Display name. Uh, oh, wait. So if I want to display the name, hold on. Uh, show blaze plate. No. So our, where's they just, oh, set visible, oh, that's stand visible. No. Okay, there we go. That's actually what I want. And I'll see, get the latest in Discord. I haven't gotten mine. I should probably update that too. If someone comes over and tries to talk to me, it's not going to work. Uh, all right, so now... Do I have to name tag these or can I just anvil name the armor stand? Let me see. Uh, ZF. And then if I do, if 
I do the show name thing here, does that? It probably doesn't work. Uh, display name, yes. Oh, oh. But it's not the name of the, what? You have to name the stand using a name tag. Oh, okay. Grr. All right. You need a name tag. Okay. Uh, do I do I even have? I know I should have like a thousand name tags somewhere. Come on, super organization system. Oh, there's a bunch of name tags there. That's good to know. Looking for name tags. Wait, can you craft? You can't craft them, right? Green sells them. Raid farm a go go. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Bam. I knew I was going to have a stray stack somewhere. Okay, so this one would be like 14 points. I don't know if I'll say points or not. I'll probably just put a 14 like that, right? And then, well, let's just try that first. Zed sells them. What if I do skadoodle? No. Oh, and it burned it on me. You jerk. Uh, Wait a minute. It ate my thing. Sand visible, yes. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, did I not turn on show name? I thought I already did. Display name, yes. Aha. Okay. Sorry, I thought I did. Uh, stand visible, no. Right? So, like, I could do that. And then, like, you know, scars in second place with I should just get an anvil out here just do the number no because I was if I'm honest I glance at hermit heads and I don't know who's who <laughs> I'm not like some of them I know right away like scar and stuff but like I'll be honest like hypno and cub and impulse I kind of mix up their faces sometimes and I don't want to have to go through that. I need voice chat to work very soon. Uh-oh. Gah. Gah. I, sh I should, I should uh, restart the game. Uh, well, you know, we're just going to say Scar. Scar has 15 points because he's in super second place or something. And then we come over here. We do this. We do that. We do this. We do yes. We do this. We do that. Right? So you get the idea there. That kind of works. I mean, then I guess it's kind of the names are kind of in the other person's face, especially if their name is longer. Delivery service incoming. Uh oh, I have skin blindness. <laughs> I can't tell them apart. But I'm, I'm. This is simple, but I don't like that the the number protrudes into the guy's skull. Uh. All right, we need to uh, restart the game. I think right. And I got to get the latest. Hang on because people are going to be coming to talk to me and I'm going to be like, what? Where is it? There it is. Download this. There we go. All right. I really should have done this beforehand. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's see here. Do that there. People know their heads. Why not just do the score number? I just talked about that. Uh, let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sorry, guys. One second. Uh, uh, where did I just download that to? Doo -doo. Okay, there it is. Move that over here. Mods. Go there. All right, we got to uh, restart the game real quick. Sorry, guys. Pull that over here, rename this. Boom. Over here, relaunch. We should be good to go. Hi. Maybe we need more of a height difference between the heads. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, Finlandia. That was version one, and I thought it was actually going to be simple and possibly the right answer. Uh, but now that I'm seeing the 
the score going through the adjacent person's head. I'm not liking that. Uh, okay, so we're just going to leave that as option one, we'll say. Let's see if this is working now. Blah, blah. Bah. Seems to be working. We'll see if someone gets here. Can you have the name over the points? Uh, I, no, I can't put, I can't put a, like a character turn in there if that's what you're saying. Why is my totem showing? <laughs> Why is my totem showing? That sounds like, yeah, it's because we, we talked about that. My, uh, my offhand mod to hide the totem is, uh, is not working. That's annoying. Okay, so do I hear something? Nope. But he probably doesn't even know how to get down here, though, so. <laughs> I know, Haunted Knight, right? Doesn't it? Uh, all right, so if that's option one, option two, keeping it simple, would be... And this might be a good one, too. Oh. All right, so if I could do something like this, right? And get the arm... Ah! <laughs> Hi. How's it going? <laughs> I, bet, I bet you weren't expecting company <laughs> down in here. No, only 87 people told me that you were coming. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. You ruiners. Yeah. Yeah, come on. You can't expect that to. Man, this is the first time I've seen this. It's, what? Kind of, it's oh, dark. Yeah. Is that the lighting? Hang on. Face no, no, no. Oh, it's supposed to be dark. Okay. It's, it's intentionally dark. Yeah. Hang on. I can fix that. There we go. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna like light me on fire or something. No, no, no. I just turned my gamma up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you see that. Holy cow, that thing is enormous. I know, I know. <laughs> go ahead, put it oh, up. This is amazing. There you go. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh man, oh, it changes your whole face. It's not just yeah, a mask. Yeah, well, okay. uh, it's unfortunate. I tried to make it a mask, but you, the the heads don't support transparency. So it was like mm. I had to. If I wanted to get that darkness there, I had to just put the whole face on it, which is a shame. Oh, but, God. oh okay, I see, I see. I was gonna say, I got yeah. my beard only does so much too, so that's yeah, so big on the ground. I know oh it's gigantic. Gosh. It's it's kind of I, I like it. I'm okay with it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, so I was raiding bastions like crazy the other day, yesterday actually, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I came across something that people said you might want because like you use <gasps> these. Just, I gotta yeah. go start collecting those today, actually. Yeah. Is, is that kind of a big the, deal? These spawn in Bastions? Yes. Are not often, though. I've probably wow. raided about, I don't know, 10 Bastions or so. And, you've seen and I one? think I found two. Uh, okay. No, two. I have, okay. I have another one somewhere. I lost okay. it. Okay. No, it. this is great. Any any of them. I mean, I, I need like 50 of these things at least. So. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh, how many? How many? Netherite ingots, right? To I, make I don't know. Is it four ingots per lodestone? I don't know. Oh, well, I, it's oh. four debris to make an ingot. Right. And maybe one. Am I looking at lodestone? Oh, okay. Is it one? Okay. Then we're only talking so four you... scraps per lodestone, right? Yeah, you're only talking like two hundred scraps. That's that's I could do that in five or <laughs> right. six hours. You know. Mm, yeah. Okay, so it took me two and a half hours to make a uh, ancient debris or uh, whatever the netherite block for the king's quest. It took me two and a half hours. And that's only so, 36 and that's nine scraps. Eight, that's nine ingots. Oh, so, yeah, which yeah, is only 36 you're, you're, scraps. You're, yeah, you're it took you two like and a half hours to get 36 scraps? Two and a half scraps? hours, yes. Wow. Yeah. That's horrible. What method did you use? It was one use? of those things where I, I got a bunch. I just, I did strip mining. I just straight oh, strip mined. Oh, I was going to do the strip mine and then blow it up with TNT every four blocks thing. According to Cubs research. It's faster just to, to just go. It's faster to just strip mine. Yeah. So it was one of those days, though, where like I had a good start, you know, in the first like 20 minutes, I was like, oh, I've already got like 12. I'm good. You this know, this is going to be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then just nothing. It went dry. Well, went dry ah. for a long time. And then, of course, if you end up hitting biomes like basalt and stuff, you got to yeah. turn around and figure well, out how to stay in the nether. That's what I think rack. kills that is you have to yeah. pay too much attention to where you are and stuff like that, where yeah. you need less space to use the TNT method. And the TNT method is a lot more fun, let's face it. It's more fun. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely more fun. Yeah. Yeah. But at some so, point, I'm just going to want to be efficient, though. Yeah, we'll see. It's messy. Yeah, I think you're still looking at probably a good many hours, five to ten hours. Yeah, of, I was hoping know. five, but ugh. <laughs> hey, what's going on with this, with this uh, totem nonsense? I'm, I'm not a fan. I don't know why I throw a torch on the ground there. 
Oh, geez, yeah. I, if I, I didn't it, have a totem today. The latest yeah. server pack broke that or something, I'm guessing? Yeah, the newest resource pack. Uh. Like, apparently, I don't know why it would <laughs> change it, but... Yep. Just another day on Hermitcraft. So then I, like, <laughs> <get energy. laughs> I wonder if we probably could generate a resource pack that's only changing that and then put that on top. But you can't. Okay. No, you can't. You can't put something on top of the server de uh, resource pack. Oh, is that the It problem? has to be at the top of the list, yeah. If you if you oh. go to your uh, options resource packs, you have world specific resources there. Like you can't can't up. Oh, but you can't. You can move it if you put in the actual zip instead huh? of letting the server give it to you. Oh, you well, I've in, never had luck with that. Zip. I've never had luck with that. Yeah, and yeah. I can move mine, but then then I lose my axe. <laughs> oh yeah, which is obviously no good. Yeah. All right, yeah, we, we got to ask yeah. Azuma what went in this latest resource pack and why yeah, did something it, changed. Something busted yeah. totems. Yeah, we'll have yeah. To fix that. Uh, today I had to choose my axe over my totem. Yeah, the worst. <laughs> <laughs> and Scar killed me. <laughs> well, I mean, that That's happens every got. stream. Yeah. Did you get hot yeah. guy? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Man, one shot it too. That's did a you, crazy uh, good bow. Hey, did you, did you get your uh, bee nest farm working? Yeah, pretty much. It's got like a... It's got like an edge case that ruins it where like if a bee pops out right when the nest spawns, it can get in the way of my axe from breaking the nest. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know how to get around it. It might just be a way like how I angle or whatever. I just have to figure that out. It's but like for the most part, it works. Defender bee who just like sacrifices himself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, but Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> it's working all right. I think I got like 25 so far. That's pretty so, good. That's pretty good. And I need 107. So yeah, we'll get there. Have yeah, fun with that. <laughs> we'll see. We'll yeah. see you get oh, there first. They're all they're they're non-stackable, and they're all loaded with bees that I have to get out of the nest before I actually use them as decoration. Just, just build with the bees in them. That'll be great. Oh, will that cause lag? Well, I mean, that you have just, all these nests that bees just, are trying to get out. Just of? build with the bees, and then just kill bees. Oh, know? that's true. It's That's kind of, true. It's, no, I was going to face the nest like inwards, though, so they couldn't come out. Oh, no, it won't cause lag, I don't think. No, if, I don't they, think if they're so. stuck in their nest because it's facing into a block, it's then not they an entity. Be trying to get it's out. Not an it's probably like a block update thing that's like, you know, oh, do I have that NBT tag that says I have bees? Try to release one. If not, you know, mm -hmm. I think that's probably going to happen. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm talking on my butt. I'm afraid. Know. I'm afraid to cause lag with the hundred. I know. I know. You know, times three bees in them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'd be fun to empty them out, anyways. It could be. Yeah. I was thinking like if if you if I placed them all down with a solid block in front of them, and then I like had pistons pull the solid blocks up the same time, and like mm -hmm. all the bees get released at once. And then I just, think that's a thing. What, I wonder if you pour lava over the beehives, if the bees will still come out. Oh, and then just over time, and then just like, hey, they'll come out all oh, mm. dead. Yeah, I mean, that's not as fun, but or it's probably I could, or I could just put them in like a, a garden of wither roses. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, so they get attracted to wither roses. I heard you bees like flowers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How you like these flowers? Ooh, it's so dark. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, that might be the one. That yeah. might be because visually that's going to be fun to watch. If it yeah. works, yeah. <laughs> okay, well I might try that this afternoon. All righty. All right. Uh, my stream's like, you should have did that on stream. You that were was, boring I, for the last hour. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Well, uh, next time. All right, man. Next I'll time. let you get back to I don't. I'm not even going to ask about I'm, that. But. I'm making scoreboards for Decked Out. Oh, okay. I'm cool. trying. Cool. We're, we're, we're just cool. getting started here with various ideas, so we'll see. Okay. All right. Well, I'm sure my chat wants to see exactly what you mean by that, so I'm going to send them over here All in righty. a second. All righty. All right. All right, man. Well, I'll talk to you later. There you go. Enjoy your, enjoy your nether ancient redigging digging stuff but Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> get a, hopefully get a good podcast to listen to. Something. <laughs> All right. See you, man. Okay. Close that off. Uh, okay, can you just name tag heads? Uh, I mean, that's a good question, right? If you put... If you put a head on the wall, does it work? I did see JKL's new name. Yeah, it's the dumbest name ever. Uh, if you name tag... <laughs> Let's see. I don't have too many levels here, so... Test name. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah. Didn't think so. So we gotta go with the armor stand method, I think. Okay. Try a pyramid shape. 
Uh, well, how would you know who's in second or third place then, though? Well, I guess I guess just we could do the invisible item frame. I mean, that's super simple. That's not a bad idea. That's that's like we're gonna be done in three minutes here if we if we go that way. But that might be the way to go. I hadn't thought about that. That's why you guys are here. It is too easy, but the, here's the problem is I don't know how many people are gonna be on the on the leaderboard. Do I just show the top five? I'd like to show everyone, right? When Etho has 38 points, I wanna show that, you know, ZF has two. And I wanna show the nine people in between, I think. But let's see here. And then the question is like, how high can we go, right? So now if I test name, oh, you got to get really close though. Yeah, I don't like how close you got to get. I mean, that would work, but and then watch like you can't even see it. Well, I guess you could, but you got to get way too close. So, at least it doesn't show from a mile away. You're right. I, you're right. This is annoying that I wish there was, I just want to see it from like, just get like 15 blocks away because both are bad. Closest fine hermits are recognizable. It's not the recognizable, it's the score. MB Raid! Welcome, welcome, guys. How you doing? What about banners? Uh, I mean, I like having the skull. Maybe banners? Let's see here. You got to get so close with this, though. And if I wanted to stack these vertically, uh, one spot for the score, one spot for the rankings. Oh. Like, put a sign next to it? Or... Or just another armor stand? Have the head use banners for, okay. Horizontal, I know, I know, horizontal is better. And that's why I like this method here because it's it's horizontal, but it still has a, like a, a height to it. So, you know, if you, cause if you just do it straight horizontal, you don't know who's in first place. You got which end is the, which end is the first one, you know? Map art with big numbers, just no. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Uh, could you make an armor stand representing every player on top of a pile of loot? That's a lot of work. Glow item frames. I just grab. I just grab these item frames. I'm not necessarily going to use glow item frames. Probably wouldn't, in fact. <clears throat> uh, can you see armor stands text through walls? Yeah, you can, unfortunately. And that's what's that's what's dumb about it. See, so that means like in the dungeon. So yeah, I don't. Ugh. I hadn't thought about that and that's going to annoy me. Like we all know how annoying it is flying through the nether hub and you see ZF signs from like a mile away. Custom banners or painting of each hermit. I don't even know. That's a lot of work. Furnace block name tags. What does that mean? I think the only way so far is uh, sometimes Jonah, sometimes. God, you guys are amazing with the subs. Thank you so much. Dragon man with the five gifted subs. MCP, I can't pronounce your name, but the MCP, thank you for the five gift subs so much. Dream Traveler, 29 months. Doctor, 28 months. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Uh, are there mod packs that we're using just for a scoreboard? Yeah, I mean, I could probably have the scoreboard be the score to deck out. I could probably talk the server into doing that, but that feels weird. I don't like hijacking things like that. Do mob uh, named mobs show through walls? Probably. I would imagine they do. 
while stacking crying obsidian as the rack level in a glowing sign at the base it is a different block everyone heads along the bottom and use sand oh interesting so instead of this just do more of a visual thing like a con colored concrete or something like that and stack it up that's fine i guess that's limited it's it's clever but once people start getting 40 50 points that falls apart it's a really good idea using the and just like having like a bar chart essentially um which means eventually like i'd have to switch from a sand representing one point to a sand representing five points or something like that but that's not a bad idea and that's like super easy to maintain i just got to go put other yeah each color concrete is different points well but then the vertical height of this of the stack doesn't matter i was gonna say instead we just give each hermit like a different color of concrete not that there's enough colors but i, I think it's easier it's a good idea like i'll start off with every 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 block being worth two points and then halfway through the game i'll probably switch to every block being worth five points or something but at least it's still a relative scale <clears throat> and the height just means who's ever got the taller bar is in first place 16 colors yeah i'm aware snow layers interesting okay i want to try all these ideas uh where's my snow at that's snow is very granular which is which is good so let's see here what oh i'm like why can't i break that thing because it's uh can i uh, armor stand do i have to really show it again before i can break it uh yes god breaking armor stands is the most inconsistent design thing in this game it's like you have to punch it three times sometimes four maybe god it's annoying okay so let's see here. We're, we're going completely armor stainless here now. Crits work better. Good to know. Let's, uh... Because I'm... I, originally, I was, like, sold that this was going to be armor stands, but now, maybe it is. What if we did, like, a row like this? And then everybody had a spot. And then I would probably make this be black. Snow layers might be really good. Snow layers might be really good. Say Zed has 14 points. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh wait, what is a uh, a full block? Is eight? Okay, so I could use snow. I could use full blocks if I want to. So that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And Scar has 17 points. So he would have something like... Uh, I used all my snow already. Uh, let's see. That's eight. I could just go by the line there. That's 16, 17. That's pretty good. That's really good. And really simple. What do we think? It's also very on brand, yeah. <laughs> it definitely fits the ice theme a lot. Wow. That's brilliant, guys. See? This is why I include you guys, because I would not have thought of that. Yeah, yeah, ice on the background. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Uh, let's grab... I would probably use packed or blue ice, but... For now, I'm just going to use packed ice. 
it's not flashy enough well how do we flash it up let's see it is definitely easy to update this way let's let's work with this and then we'll we'll make it even better maybe you know what let's, I'll, I'll, I'll go get the blue eyes i got it it's not like we lose it if i during the prototype so Resto lamps around it, maybe. Better if you put a block with a frame so it's easier to count layers. Well, that's the thing is, I, I do need to put the absolute score somewhere. But that could be right here with just an, a, a sign. That part I'm easy because you got a nice visual effect. Let me grab some uh, some signs. Below the head, yeah. I mean, I would make these obviously better color signs. Or whatever, I forgot what he had, but basically just, I mean, again, these signs are horrible colors and stuff, but I think that's pretty clear. And then of course we'd use glow ink and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. This is really good, yeah. Uh, black or skulk background as the snow layers get full bright height replaced with ice. Redstone lamps behind the snow layers. Having some light back there would be good, I suppose. Um, the other option is put this back a block and then leave leave room for, you know, just like a glowstone or something down there just to really draw more focus to it because I don't think, I think having the blue behind here isn't, you know, having it back an extra block isn't going to cause any more, it's still, it's going to be the same look background wise. But, yeah. But now we can put glowstone, like, right there or something. Ah, oh, the snow melts. Jerks! Uh, all right, yeah. Does it melt even when it's full? Melt technology. Does it melt even when it's a full block? I mean, yeah, you could use lower light sources, but... Why is everyone saying frog lights? I mean, frog lights are, aren't, aren't frog lights still level 15 light? And we can go lower light sources, but they're not going to obviously provide as much benefit. Frog lights are full brightness, yeah. So it doesn't really matter what light you put back there. It, it, all that matters is the light intensity. Yes, you could go lichen, but then... Is it really even going to be noticeable, right? The ambient light in the room is probably going to be seven or eight around here. So you won't, it won't even add to it. Everybody's saying lichen. Yeah, no, you got to listen to what I'm saying. It's not going to even add light to it because it's lichen's only like what level seven light or something like that. Lichens can go on the back of the blocks. Yeah. But I guess same point. It, de it depends how how dark this is. I mean, I could do I could do this, right? Only on the full blocks. If if we intentionally leave the backdrop dark, then that would look good, I suppose. So that works for me, I suppose. Yeah. What else could we do? We could. If we wanted to get fancy, we could put like a like a campfire behind whoever is in first place. So they have a little smoke coming out of their thing. I don't know if that means anything. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, we would have like, you know, there would be like framing probably here or something, you know, to go around it and stuff.
Obviously, we're just doing this very crude here, here, but we put the numbers in the banner behind the head and then the hermits named the sign. Oh, so if this was, I got, I got to get these signs are driving me nuts. I got to get better signs. Glowberries for what? Uh, burst signs will work for now. Yeah, I'll probably go warp signs with with glow on them eventually warp would fit the theme better but so we just do this and put their names here is one option or the other option is we do zf you know 14 or whatever like that so the bar graph is just kind of redundant Soul flames would look good. Yeah, I mean, we can put like a, a soul flame brazier on the side and everything. That's not a bad idea. And it fits the theme. Showing absolute score. It may be hard to tell based on layers. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely not going to be able to look at this and, and go, oh, that's, you know, I could like count the blocks and then once so I would know that this is 17. But I'm not, the, the, the graph, the graph is, is just for looks and for at a glance kind of thing. Put a light source behind tinted glass. Does it remove a bunch of the light level? All of it removes all of it. But then you wouldn't be able to see the backdrop and everything would get dark. Redstone lamp under the head. Uh, again, wouldn't that melt the snow? Right? We have a full light source here. That snow's gonna melt. What's up, Zip? How you doing? Yeah, the graph is is a super good visual. I like the graph a lot. I'm excited about the graph. Uh, would candles work because they have low light? Um, yeah, probably. Uh, what is it like light level 11 to melt snow? I think 12 or higher melt snow. Okay. Would the light behind the ice work better? Well, you wouldn't see it unless I use transparent or unless I use regular ice, but then that ice would melt. So no. Shroom lights. Yeah. I think this is pretty close. The only thing I'm debating is do I put the score here or do I put the score somehow? I think the score has got to go under their name. I think I think this is it right here. All right. And then the next player who's just like killing it. Is up there. That's going to look really good. And I'll adjust the lighting so there's no light level 11 or so. And then, yeah, the light in behind. If I leave this all dark then the lichen behind will actually accentuate the bars and stuff that's really good ethos score yeah <clears throat> and if it gets out of control and the button and this gets too high and someone's got 98 points or something then i just change the scale i'd have to rebuild all the snow layers but i just say hey every every snow layer is now worth two points and the whole thing gets cut in half but it's all still relative how high can the points go, Pebbles? Yeah, that's just what I was just kind of talking about. Like, I would probably build it to be, to support 10 blocks, which is 160 points, essentially. Um, we'll see. This depends on the area that it's in, but I love this. Snow. Snow layers. It's gradual, you know, bar chart. Perfect. I think it's really good. Uh, okay. I will have to get a head from each hermit. I think Scar's got heads from the, each hermit. I can, uh, I can pester him probably, or just start assassinating people, which might be more fun. <clears throat> 10 block times eight. Is, oh, it's right. It's only, I thought it was 16 per block, right? It's eight per block. So that'd be 80 points. Uh, move the outer frame out to the side so you can see the ice around the edge of the bars. Oh, you want to be able to see the sides of this grifter? Is that what you're saying? So you'd want to put the frame out there. 
gaps between each bar. That's gonna be a huge area then. I don't know that we need gaps. Yeah, I don't I don't like gaps. The heads on top of respawn anchors. Um yeah, whatever this block is, I don't know. I'll I'll that's that's totally aesthetics that we're gonna save for the end. You know, the signs and the block and stuff like that. This isn't literally it. It's this is just like I like the idea of ice in the background, I like the idea of snow layers and a sign here with their name and their score. I think that's about it. And yeah, this I may I may space this out and I don't know. We'll see. But okay. I like it. That's gonna be perfect. Job done. Uh don't need the gap in between each. Put around the side frames. Put around the sides frames it better. Put what around the side? Uh, Griff, you have to send me a picture or something. Because I trust what you're saying, but I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> up Loki how you doing I evil okay that was easy that was supposed to take a lot longer so streams over yeah it is grifter I know tell me a picture man uh because you use beacons each player can choose a colored glass if I do beacons then I have 20 beacons shooting up through my base again which I I just I if they put in the feature or tinted glass stops, beacon beams, and beacon beams would be great. I would love to do that. That would be super fun. And I would just move the tinted glass up. That'd be amazing. But you know, they're not gonna add that feature. That would be that would be tons of fun. Always put the highest score on the right. No, I don't want to be shifting around. I think everyone will have a fixed spot. Um, and then the bars will just be going all over the place, I think, which would actually be fun. Woof woof, yeah. Uh, I know this is rough, but white blocks on the sides will confuse the snow. Yeah, I, again, I, I'm not using bone blocks there. It'll be something else. It depends on whatever the theme of the room is and stuff. Um, uh, yeah, I read the Hermitcraft subreddit all the time, really. Like once every day or two. We started with armor stands, Mandrakol, and we, we dropped it because I I don't like being names being seen from 100 miles away. Uh, okay, the other thing I'm debating now, I wasn't even planning on talking about this, but every hermit needs a barrel to put their victory tomes. And by the way, someone left a comment in my last video and it was common sense and I thought about it and it, it made sense. Um, and I'm going to change the way it works uh, with victory tomes. Just to let you guys know that I'm reading comments. If there's good ideas that I like, I will do them. Uh, instead of having the minor, major, and grand victory tome, and then having those represent different amounts of victory points, there's no reason to have that level of arbitration. Instead, I'm just going to say... Uh, I forget what the numbers are, so this might be confusing. But, you know, you can buy one victory tome for 10 points, for 10 embers. 25 embers, you could buy three. Or 40 embers, you could buy six. But you're still just getting more of the same victory tome. So there's only one victory tome now. I think that's a lot, a lot makes more sense. Uh, so with that said, every hermit needs, uh, do I have barrels? Barrels. It is much cleaner and less confusing because I'm honestly, I don't want people to be confused. I want, I want it to just make sense. So one of the things we could do is put their barrel right here. Right? I'd probably do it like I know I know the barrel doesn't go with the with the look and stuff, but every player already has kind of like a oh, I like it actually better the other way. Every player already has like a This is my spot. So yeah, total well it's not I'm still leaning toward doing phases, uh Grimmy. And the in the phases will get you, which I could go into that debate. Um, and I know some people will. It's definitely simpler if I just said total tomes equals the winner. But that has a lot of design implications that really change how the player perceives the game, I feel like. Um, but anyways, if everyone had a barrel like this, this is just this is just where they put their tomes, right? Oh, I, I got I got three three tomes that that round. My mouse just got weird. There we go. It's, it's one of those mice mice with like the dynamic sensitivity, and I think I hit the button. Uh so they just put their barrels right, their tomes right there, and then I mean, that seems like a logical place to do it. Oh, colored shulkers. All 
Not a bad idea. I like shulkers better. And I could tint these light blue if I wanted to or something. Dyed shulkers, yeah. I mean, this is not dyed, but... but... Yeah, that's even better, right? Put them against the wall so it pops out, right? And then a hopper will just pull items out of it as soon as you... As soon as you put the tomes in there, they'd be, they'd be pulled right out. That works. Let the hermits choose their color. That's... Eh. And every hermit's got to go die a shulker box, and then we have a rainbow thing, and it and it looks worse, I think. Oh, it's got to open up because we have the sign in front. Yeah. Well, it, it'll still open up through the head, right? It won't. So, and we'll pop the sign off the front, right? If I put a sign there, I think. No, we're good. That's fine. It can open backwards. Oh, into there. Is that is that weird though? Because now they're like opening a shulker and they don't. It doesn't open that way. Wait, what? Oh, did I? Oh, I put it into the wall. That's why. Uh, blink. I put it into the floor. Oh, but then we got then you got the cinnabons though. Uh, yeah, there's, and there's nothing to put the snow on. So, yeah, no, it's got to be... I don't think it could be down because I'm going to have a hopper below it. I think it's going to be... It's going to have to be out with the sign on it. It's not that big of a deal, right? So you can't read the sign while it's open, but I mean, so what, right? Can't go up because of the head. Can't go back because the snow need, needs a block to be on. Can't go down because there needs to be a hopper there, so... Forward is the only option, but I do like dyed shulkers though, because I can make these be like light blue or something. Yeah. That's good. Barrel is an option, yeah. That's what we started with. But a, a wooden barrel does, it's just for aesthetic reasons, I think a, a dyed shulker would look better. be annoying I have to change the sign to replace score well I mean I'm gonna have to update something to to show the actual numeric score somewhere Our player is going to use their barrels like a deck again yeah this is not their deck this is just another shulker that's sitting here <clears throat> so again this is only if I want them to so let's consider this option A, right? Scoreboard, player here, and they put their tomes in here. That's option A. Option B is a lot more complicated. I'm toying with the idea of giving each player their own little private key locked chamber, if you will, like a three by five room or a, something like that. The only reason to do that well, A, it's a little bit fun. It's a little bit fun, right? But it's got it's got logistical more issues, right? Now I have to give every hermit a key. And it's just kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, but if I'm going to be giving the hermits keys, that's kind of a general question too. I'm definitely going to be giving the hermits keys, right? The system will give players keys based on their standings or frequency of play or something. <clears throat> I know the keys will be lost. I know, Doc. Um, how do I give them those keys? I need a place to put the keys that they can pick it up, right? I mean, I could put the keys right here. It's awfully tempting, though, to be like, oh, Zedos got three keys. You know, that's a, that's a high level of trust. Do I think the hermits are going to cheat? Probably not. Do I think hermits might accidentally take a key if they don't understand what's going on? Possibly. Right? That's what I basically need is like a, a P.O. box or something like. And it's a lot more work too. I have to build a room for everyone. I have to build a key lock system. Um, 
you know, it's just a lot more work. Or this right here is super simple. It doesn't matter what the keys are, Mordekin. It's just, it could be anything. Do you think, I, do you guys think this will be fine if... So in other words... Well, whatever, I'll just put that there for now. Right? In other words, it's going to be like... Everyone will have a shulker like this, right? With their name on it. And there just might be, you know, two keys, three keys in, in Scar's chest. Just sitting there waiting for him. Locker rooms do sound cool. I have to consider... Dishonesty, which is a very minor concern, I guess, or just disunderstanding. It's not, it's not even a word. Just, you know, confusion or, or yeah, the shulkers would be named and stuff. Misunderstood. Yeah. Confusion. No, the hopper could be set up as a filter, so it only accept homes, I think. Rooms do sound good, you know, there's something, there is something fun to be said about like, I, I walk over here to my door and I throw my key on the ground and my door opens up for 10 seconds and I go inside and I can personalize it inside there and that's where I get my keys, that's where I could decorate it maybe, but that means a way more space, a lot more redstone, you know, we're talking an extra five to eight hours of work to build the room out now and build all those lockers and build out all the redstone key systems and worry about giving people keys and it is cool but then what is this if, if, if they're just just to be clear if there were private lockers we'll call them then there would be nothing here you would not put your tomes here you would put your tome in your locker is everyone planning on de playing decked out cashmere? I don't know, you know. Last time, I think almost everyone played. Like, I'm, maybe there was one or two hermits that didn't play. I think everyone played. <laughs> Deck or eight, yeah. Will the lockers need to be locked? I mean, I guess that's another option, right? It's just give everyone a room and put their, you know... Give everyone a room and put their head on the, uh, you know, it just, oh, here's, here's Scar's room, right? Put his head there and there's an iron door there, something, a button, and he just walks in. So we save all the effort of having to do that at Redstone 20 times. And it's just like, hey, the rules are don't anyone, don't enter anyone else's locker room. That's better. And to just give them a space behind there, that's probably, you know, I don't, I don't know how big the space would be, but obviously just digging that out is easy. Maybe that's the answer. Just, just get rid of the key system, but, but keep the locker room idea. Do they enter or take it? I don't know what you mean. The head, the head stays. I do think boxes would work fine. I would be very clear to the hermits. It's really a question of, is it fun to decorate your room? And would people even, some of them would just leave it, not even bother, right? You know, I could allocate somewhere around this much space. Some, some would decorate, yeah, absolutely. We're very mixed here. It, it seems totally split 50-50 here. I'm definitely doing the bar graph. Don't get me wrong, okay? No matter what, we're doing this with the snow layers, with the heads, with the names here. I, th I think all we're debating is, is this a shulker and you put your tomes here and you are given your keys here that you pick up? Or do you have a separate, a much bigger hall with personalized rooms that you enter? Yeah, Moz, can we do a poll? The options are keep it simple. You know, with a, a shulker on the bar graph. 
or or locker rooms keep in mind locker rooms i think everyone thinks locker rooms are cooler it's just do i want to spend the time doing that and stuff Chat's moving so fast, guys, I cannot keep up. What if they want to keep their tomes? That's up to them. They just keep it in their... Uh... And that's a good point. But, but if you want to hold on to tomes, just keep them in your ender chest or something like that. That's up to you. Um, a good part of the strategy will be to hold on to tomes, too. Like, if, if I don't think I have enough tomes to win this phase, maybe I save all my tomes for next phase and go big to try and get first place next phase. That that might be a legit strategy, which I'm totally fine with. Genesis, thank you so much. Oh, interesting. Everybody likes the locker room. Okay, 72% of people say they like the locker room. <laughs> Everyone just likes more work, yeah. <laughs> it's decked out, make it epic, I know. How many of these do I need now, though, is the question. And I feel like I would have to get a whole... I mean, I have a whole ton of obsidian. I would probably have to line these with obsidian so players know what they can go in and what they, you know, what their border is. Or maybe I can allow them to go... Well, no, I can't allow them to go as back as far as they want because I'm going to have uh, barrels and stuff like that. So... Build a separate deck out for every hermit. Yeah. Five by five, yeah, maybe, maybe five by seven. I, can, I mean, I can go deeper. It's width that's the that's the issue, right? Because width determines how many and how big that room needs to be. But going deeper is is fine. So I might be able to go five by seven. Um, you know, if this was already in set a block like this, then this could be flush here. One, two, three, four, five, six. three four five so we're looking at that space right there that feels plenty big to just do a little bit of personalization right <clears throat> and then i put the barrels like there'd be a barrel back here and that's where you put your tomes and maybe there's a barrel here or something and that's where you get your free keys i mean and maybe i could just use the same one in the end, it's like, wait, what's the purpose of this locker room, right? Except to have a little spot. It's just, it's just a barrel. It feels like a lot of work. Feels like a lot of work to, to hang out, just hang out by yourself. <laughs> keep your cards in there. No one's gonna, I, I think everyone's gonna keep their deck in their, in their, uh, in their ender chest, but maybe. Maybe. And this gets to an idea that noises. I think it was your idea for the uh, excessively rich players who are just killing it. Maybe part of the store at the end, or whether it's for coin or embers, I don't know. But you could buy aesthetics. Maybe I make some custom custom models, and you could uh, prestige up your your locker room with custom things that you can only get in the game. That might be fun. I don't, microtransactions, basically. Yeah, we're adding, we're adding microtransactions to decked out. <laughs> that might be fun. And it's a trophy room. But the problem is no one would want to put it in there. They would want to put it, you know, out here. So everyone sees what they're doing. <laughs> so it's all about money. Yeah, right. Yeah, so I don't know. There's different. You could invite people over to your locker room and, and you know, show it off, I guess. It's a bit weird. <laughs> That's going. That's how you keep people like gem playing. I, I, that, that sort of thing appeals to people. Yeah, like I would love to have cosmetics that people could could wear. You know, hats that you only can get from playing decked out. What about a glass front? Uh, I mean, maybe. 
Let's go get some glass and see what that would look like. I feel like that might be a bit weird. Uh, let's go some of this. Oh, God, I got garbage everywhere. Uh, I got to save that lodestone. I'm going to put that somewhere. God, I just want to get rid of things in my inventory. Where's the dump button? Ah. Go away. Keep that. Fine. Gah. Okay. Uh, glass. That's what we came in for. What about some kind of open locker room? I mean, I, I need more. What does that mean? You know? I'm not sure what that means. Just wall insets, not full rooms. Uh oh, I see what you're saying. Just give them a five by seven. And don't make it private. I mean, we're really backscaling here what this was. Originally it was intended to be to have a secure, obviously not really secure, but like a keyed entry system where you could there's a higher barrier to someone potentially stealing slash accidentally taking your keys that were granted to you. That's that was the whole point of this locker room at first. But then we rolled it back and said, man, eh, just don't put a lock on it. And now potentially rolling it back and be like, I don't even put a door on it. You know, like, oh, I know. I know the keys are going to get lost. Yeah. And I don't want to deal with that. I would have to have a duplicate of everyone's keys and then they can come to me and I'd have to like scan their fingerprint to make sure it's them. You know, I think we're getting carried away here. Maybe we are. Yeah. The reason we're doing this, right, like, it's just maybe an idea will come out of this. That's why we were it. We're essentially doing a brainstorming session here of crazy ideas of, of what to do in the Great Hall. Right. The other option is, is, I think, what some of you are saying is just leave it, leave it wide open. And you get you get a cubby, right? Oh, I dumped off my right. Whatever. Imagine that was framed and your head was on the top of it or something like that. I mean, it's essentially the artifact board from decked out one, except you're not storing artifacts. You're decorating it. Cool, Grifter, thanks. Open shows up. Hey, listen, if we're going to go the aesthetic route, open is better for sure. Right, and then and then it's not just who's winning decked out; it's who has the coolest little cubby hole. The artifacts are the decorations. Yeah, nah, I mean, you want you first of all, you can't take those out of the dungeon, so no. It, it wouldn't take much for me to you know get some other you know cool objects and stuff that you could hang on your wall. Have you heard of a card game called Dominion? It's right there. <laughs> it's literally four feet from me. Yeah. I was looking through. I have I have a I have all a bunch of cards from uh, Clank right here that I go through for inspiration. But I was also doing the same thing with uh, with the decked out cards, and I'm going through a lot of online deck building games for inspiration too. Still haven't. I'm I'm like super excited to get to the cards. Best room each week gets a point. I don't want to get into uh, judging. I don't want subjective stuff like that. There's no, there's no best room. Uh, Drat, yeah, I haven't played it though. I need to play it. All right, I guess I'll have to I'll have to think about this. I think it comes down to. Who cares about security? I just don't want to go through the trouble of making all these cubby holes and then like two people really care about it. You know? Are they really going to take some time in their episodes to decorate out their thing? Do you guys remember that those of you that around season four when Ren built his game? I forgot what it was called. It was, it was a collect them all game. Does anyone remember the name of it? Uh, in his uh, Hermitron Go, yeah, that's it, Hermitron Go, great memory. 
uh, in his game, you got a little piece of whatever and everybody decorated it. And that was pretty well embraced. I think everyone who played the game spent time decorating their little plot. You guys remember that? I built a little mini nether keep on mine. I remember doing that. So I feel like if, if we're really going to focus on decoration, it might need to be a bigger area. They're Minecrafters. Yeah, I know, right? Plus points for best locker. There's no best locker. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Cause then who votes, right? And then there's bitterness and what? And... Yeah. All right. So I'm leaning toward that then, but maybe, maybe you get, maybe you get a cubby hole to decorate. And your barrel should be in there to deposit your tomes. So that way it's at least, at least is associated to you in some way functionally. Yeah. I think I like that. It's going to make the entry hall be a lot bigger, but that's fine. We got the space. We got the space, right? Right? I mean, the entry hall could be all of this if we really wanted to. <laughs> Pet Ravager. <laughs> right? I could see lined on both sides here, like a big open room. You know, like literally from like there back to like somewhere back like that. And then here, like a rectangular room and little cubbies on both sides. Trying to figure out the shape. What's up, Stormageddon? How you doing? It's like a prison cell. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, NFS Crypt, great idea. I missed it. Make it a U-shaped room. It could be a U-shaped room. It could be a plus room. I mean, it depends on the size of the cells and stuff like that. Hall of Hermits. It's going to be something like that. Yeah. The store's got to be in there somewhere. The scoreboard's got to be in there somewhere. The scoreboard would probably be like dead center on the back of the wall. <laughs> they're, they're prison cells, Doc. Yeah. 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 Trophies and stuff. Yeah. You know what? Maybe, maybe like one of the items, right? Yeah. When it, every, everyone who wins a phase first second and third place of each phase gets a first second and third place trophy kind of like zed's trophies i mean i wouldn't steal his but and then as you we play the game and we're into phase four five and six some players might just have like trophies hanging out in their room i like that And then, and then, oh, the gears are turning, guys. I plan on having a lot of one-time custom quests within the game, like long duration quests that you have to go visit many parts of the thing and kind of piece together some clues and finally do something somewhere to finish the quest. The people who finish those get special things as well. Etho will own all, Etho's very good at those, yes, I know. But I don't care who wins them. I think that's a great idea then. So I don't I don't want to get into making a custom model for every quest, but it's interesting. Make a glass roof that other hermits could look in. Well, the hermits are gonna be able to walk around. What is Etho not good at? Uh lying in Among Us. <laughs> No, he's actually not bad at that, too. Write it down. Yeah, uh, this is this is good stuff. I'm kind of excited now. All right. So hold on. Let's see here. Uh, OK, uh, main hall cubby hole for each hermit five by seven question mark uh, barrel in there to deposit key barrel in there to receive probably the same barrel. Um, 
decorate your cubby with uh in any way you want uh custom trophies given out for placing in each phase or completing custom quests uh decorate your cubby with your trophies something like that i like it <laughs> that was bad at being bad yeah oh yeah first person who go gets to the secret cow level absolutely Shh, it's a secret don't tell anyone there's a secret cow level and it's then it's just a cow level you can't just have a cow level there is right there is no cow level everybody right first rule of cow level is locker is better than cubby i don't know what the word is yeah what cow level exactly there is no cow level <laughs> okay you guys are amazing i swear you guys make decked out better every time we stream Super excited about the scoreboard, and it's simple. I don't, there's no redstone. It's just adding snow layers, but it looks amazing. It's going to be so good. I like the cubby idea. It's going to allow me to honestly fill that space up there in a great way, which is fantastic. I'm excited now. I think this might be next episode. Any thoughts about using snow golems for... Entrance to the to the cow level should be dropping a bucket of milk somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> milk sog. Uh next episode tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'll just I'll bang that out in 35, 40 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me let me clean up some bits here. I'm excited now. Glass glass. Boom, glass ice. Ice ice. Uh, shulker, what's in you? Armor stands, wood products. I want a storage room too. It doesn't suck. Do that, do that. Give me a second, guys. Rooms can be spaced on the side going to the game itself instead of the ride. You'll fill with that. Yeah, uh, you're all. I mean, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah. Uh, where the, where the rooms are, I'm not sure. I'm going to need to make at least 20 of these of these uh, lockers or whatever we call them. Things got decided. Yeah, that's where we're at. All right, snow, put that away. Name tags can go in the misc. Do you hear a dolphin? I sure hope not. Okay. Statue book can go away. We don't even need statues, which is a great thing. Give me that. Give me that. That. We'll put some lichen back up here. All right, we're we're gonna go try to get some uh, ancient debris. As much as I hate it, as much as it pains me, I need lots of it. Uh, and for that, I think I'm gonna have to actually wear some armor. Uh, where'd my armor go? Armor's supposed to be right here. That's not it. <laughs> no armor? Listen, I don't want to die and lose the stuff down there. <clears throat> I guess I found my armor. <clears throat> so anyways, what were we talking about? Besides armor? <clears throat> I'm a professional. <laughs> All right. What do I, I want to take some? Uh, we need the noob juice. Of course, we need noob juice. Where is it? Somewhere there's a brewing. <laughs> there we go. Bam, 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 bam. Take all those. Uh, okay. TNT. 
<laughs> no, this is, that's not funny at all. Uh, let's see. I need a lot of TNT. And I don't have... We're not using beds. I don't want to use beds. We're using TNT. Unfortunately, I don't think I... Did I ever make a TNT chest? I don't think I did. I feel like I put it somewhere. There was some... And I did this in stream. There was a time where I was just like, Hey, TNT goes here now. It's been decided. Ah. Because I really don't need that much. I think like a few stacks. I don't know, honestly. I'd like to go with seven or eight stacks. We're going to have to ask someone, is it in the ceiling still? Oh, gunpowder. Looking for gunpowder or TNT. <laughs> well, how long will you be live? Well, I got plenty of time in me. We'll see. Depends. It depends how the uh, the ancient debris acquisition is going. I don't think I have any on the ceiling. Did I put any over here? I, there's, I feel like there's like a couple stacks of TNT somewhere. Let's see how much we can make. That's not a lot. That's like a stack, right? Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah, I was at the raid farm and it, for like 20 minutes, but it didn't fill up a shulker. I think we're going to go there because... Uh, let me see here. Do I have a... We'll take one of those with us. I got my bow for lighting the TNT. And then we'll take a... Uh, let's just grab a couple extra shulkers in the ND. Uh, what am I saying? We're not picking up that much ancient debris. <laughs> we're not going to need shulkers for ancient debris. Yeah. Is there some in the... Oh, there's some in the warp farm. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Let's go steal some from there. Good call. We should be able to get two or three stacks from there easily. Put the sand away. Well, if I if we go get uh, more gunpowder, I want to be able to make because we might stop at the uh, raid farm. Uh, did I force? Yeah, that'd be enough. The other, yeah, I put the shulker away, but I want to take a little bit with me just in case. If not, I'll just throw the sand away. I don't care. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, we'll go to the tree farm first. See how much is over there. Because you're right, I think that's where I probably put all my... All my, uh, TNT. TN tree. Aha! That's... I haven't done this literally in years, guys, so... Is four stacks of TNT? Like, I feel like each... Each blast wave is gonna be, like, 30... I have more totems in the ND chest. Like, how long is that gonna last me? Am I gonna be able to... Am I gonna be able to mine for an hour with four and a half stacks? No. Four stacks isn't, isn't a lot. Okay. So then let's head over to the raid farm and see if I can scrounge up some. I'm going to have to dissect the machine a little bit to pull some gunpowder because I feel like there's like half a shulker of gun of gunpowder in there somewhere. <clears throat> 10 minutes. Yeah, I know other people. I may have to go steal some gunpowder. We'll see. You need a totem hiding resource pack. <laughs> uh, good idea. All right. How do I... 
Got redstone. I don't think I can even see the... the... The problem with this system is you can't get to the... I could just run the raid farm for a few minutes and see. Oh, hold on. Let's do this. Whoop, here we go. That's why that trap door is there. Can I even open these? I can't. Ah. Uh, which way... Which way is up on these? Is there a way to tell which way the top is? Facing, let's see. Facing up. I think they're all facing up. Oh wait, no, it's not that. That's a piston right there, I think, right? Oh, that's an observer. Uh, I guess we just break it then. And I think it's this one. I hope this doesn't break anything. Did I get it? Oh, did it go in here? Maybe it fell through. <laughs> this is horrible. Did it? We did the fourth one, right? Aha! Yes! Why didn't that? Oh, that's broken. That should have. That should have plopped out. Is it? Hold on. Fourth one. Why is that not working? Oh. Oh, was it not full? Are you serious? Oh, come on. You're telling me if I AFK'd for another 18 and a half seconds, it would have been fine. How do I, is there a way to trigger it now? I don't even remember how this thing works because I want to get another shulker in there. Uh, use the button to activate it. That's going, that, that's not going to do, I don't think there is a way to manually, let me just throw a shulker in there. I'll just do that. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, I have shulkers in this chest here, I think. Or at least they're supposed to, oh, there's a whole bunch. What am I saying? They're everywhere. Uh, sure. There's one. Yeah, we're going to crawl back in and place this guy in there. Because I think if I don't do this, it's going to get, it's going to get weird and be all busted. Okay. And that should be good because that one will still fill up and the next time it, it triggers full. Oh, bonus. Okay. Well, we might have to go get more sand now. Uh, crafting bench, crafting bench. Uh, stick away. I think there's a crafting bench up here. Oh, here's one. TNT. Just eats it up instantly uh all right let's go get let's go get some more sand stop at the base get more sand and then we'll be ready to roll i know they, they were supposed to decorate this area i i blame scar and green i did my part i built the raid farm scar did his part i think green should decorate the inside of that Personally. I forget the noob juice. Yeah, didn't I? Uh... Yeah, we got we got plenty of plenty of noob juice. All right, we got that. Let's get more of do I have loose sand here. No. All right, let's get a shulker out. We will have plenty now. Feel like that's gonna be way more than we need but doesn't hurt to i'm gonna be running the raid farm again real soon right we're good here right that's gonna that'll keep me busy for a while there's no way i'm going through all that much all right do that there what else everyone's screaming ender chest what is everyone screaming ender chest for i forgot my ender chest i mean i lose ender chest all the time so you know <laughs> that's fine uh that's why we have a stack of 40 of them somewhere here Hang on. 
Ah, pickaxe works better. Gold armor. Ah, we're going to be underground. We'll be fine. Okay. Put that in the ND. All right. What else do we want? Another totem. I have plenty of totems in the uh, somewhere in here right there. Oh, there's one there. I got another chest somewhere that's got a bunch. I think there's five there, so we're good. Helmet? No, we got to go with the hood. Uh, spare picks? We're not going to be digging that much. I think we're going to be fine. So bed to set spawn. I'd say... All right, we're good. We're good. Uh, let me grab some rockets. That would be good. The only other thing I need is someone to pick up my gear when I die. That would be nice. Okay. Uh, well, we want to go down here. Let's see. Where? All right. What, what's the right? Is it like Y13 or something? What's the most optimal level? Later, Kelmore. 15? Everyone's going to say a different number now. Oh, wow. 15 is it. Okay. That surprised me. I thought we were going to get 27 different numbers. All right. Y15. And the biome doesn't matter or do, what biome do I need to be in or it doesn't matter, right? Again, you can tell I do this all the time. Chunk border. I don't. What's I got to do with it? Biome doesn't matter. Avoid basalt. Okay. Because it's more blast resistant. Right, right, right. Okay. So why, why, oh, is it because uh, if you if you put the TNT right along the trunk border, then you're blasting into two chunks? That makes sense, right? Because you can only get one ancient debris per chunk, I think. Super smart, super smart. I like that. All right, let's go yonder. What is that box? That's creepy. I mean, it really doesn't matter where we go, right? As long as we just dig down. I don't want to go too far. I'll get lost. Does it matter? I mean, just right here, right? <laughs> You're lost already. Dig away from the lava lake. Yeah, so I'll, I'll go this way. Can't think of any reason not to go down here. What are we at? We're at 31. Drink fire resist. Eh, it's on the bar. And I think I've got fire on something. Nope. We'll be fine. Blocks on the hot bar, got him. All right, this is at right there, boom. Okay, we're at 15. Let's go, let's big it, dig a starter tunnel down here. This isn't gonna be where we're gonna explode. This is just gonna be our like main branch and we'll, we'll, we'll branch off to the side of that, I think. Okay, we'll dig that more as we need to. F3G. Here's the chunk boundary. Simon, thank you so much for the piece of pie. Everybody with the subs, thank you. Bits, guys, thank you so much. Kaz, thank you for the piece of pie. Rooms in the front castle. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much where they're gonna be as soon as you walk in the main area. Evil, thank you if you're still here. Forty-seven hours of work since Friday morning. Evil. You're not leading the best life that you can lead right now. Fix that. All right. So we go right down the chunk border right here at Y15. I think we're good. Right. This is basically the plan. Hey, this is easy, guys. What? what? <laughs> this, this 
game is easy. Psh. <laughs> All right, we're done. We're out. That was cool. Yes, that was going to be hard. Come on. <laughs> this is easy mode. I can't believe that. Boom. Oh, the black stone is going to be super not good. Is this basalt? Uh, we're still in nether ways. Okay, no, just a little bit of blackstone. If we hit like a big lava lake, that's kind of a sign to like turn around, right? So far, this area is looking great. Everything looking good? How many debris do you need? Well, I'm shooting for about 50 lodestones. So that's what? It's four scraps per ingot, right? Or is it nine? I totally don't do this stuff. <clears throat> 200, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. One million. People doing things. Wildwind, thank you. Having you on while letting my sheep farm warm up. Thank you for saving me from sheer boredom. Thank you, Wildwind. How far down should we go? Is this is this enough? There really is no limit, right? Bleh! Maybe that's far enough. Maybe that's far enough. Okay. Now we TNT all the way and, it, and we want to go like what? Every four blocks or so we said? Limit found. Yeah, exactly. Every five. I don't want to miss. I think every fourth is what I remember, right? But what do I know? Everything valuable stays in the chest. Three? Three, four. Every third. Uh, so when you say every third, you want to mean like a, <clears throat> a two block gap or a three, three blocks between. That's what I thought. So we're looking at like that right there, right? One, two, three. TNT every block, yeah. Three in between, three, three gap, yeah. It's so funny that even after all these years, people still count blocks in this game differently. I'm surprised at how many people count the gap. Like that's always weird to me. Like to me, these are four blocks apart. But I think a lot of you would say that these are three blocks apart. It's kind of weird, I don't know. One, two, three. You know what? We're just going to time it like this and see. Because I'm not going to count every block. We're just guessing. I'm probably going every three or two at this point. There's no way I'm counting everyone, though. If we get if we get duds, that's fine. I just repaired my bow. Okay, how about we not blow up right in front of our face? All right. This is the way. All right. Skadoodle! Ka! I don't think we'll hit that from here. Come on! Get sizzled! There we go. Uh, oh uh, yes, this part now. Super fun. Okay. You guys have one job. To find all the... <laughs> to find all the ancient debris that I miss. I'm super observant, as you guys know. Nothing gets past me. See, I see these right here. Look at this. It's all over the place. 
We're gonna have we're gonna have 200 in like eight minutes. There's a texture pack that highlights them. Yeah. Uh, six. Easy. I know, I know, pancakes, right? What is even happening? I hate this stuff. Who even wants to... Ugh. Why would anyone voluntarily do this? Do they come in... Oh, they come in three. They come in threes? It comes in pints? That's fantastic. Uh, oh, hi, you didn't finish explodificating. They can come up to four? Oh, that was... Effective. Uh, hi. Get, get lit. Oh, I did not do a good job down here. You guys, I'm finding all the stuff. Oh, no. Oh, some jerks already been here with their digging. You're going to be cramping my style here. This is not promising nonsense. That's probably impulse right there. In fact, I blame him. Impulse or Pearl did Pearl do a lot of it too? Okay, guys, what's even happening right now? B-dubs, <laughs> you recognize B-dubs digging. Why does B-dubs need this stuff? Oh, for the throne, got it. Okay, thus concludes that tunnel. Right? I mean, that wasn't bad. This is not smart. Oh, I forgot the piggy piggies are gonna... Oh, hover! Thank you. The piggies are gonna cause me problems. About two hours at this pace. That was nothing. Yeah, all right. So now we go to the next chunk, right? We do right here. Chunk boundary. Oh, uh, well, actually, no. If we did... If we really wanted to be optimal, we would skip a whole chunk because we theoretically got some from this chunk. Yeah. Right? So... We want to dig between... These two chunks right here. It's going to take a lot more space this way, but... Put your debris in the under chest. I did. Did you not see me? You block off the hole now? Why? <sighs> this game is easy! <laughs> I'm, I'm actually legit astonished at how many we got already. Axe. Impulse. <laughs> It was this easy, man. I, I already got more than you got in like a week. You need to step up your digging game. <laughs> All right, the, I think the last thing. Come on. Stuff's like mining iron. <laughs> Do you even know how to dig impulse? <laughs> I want to make this one longer. The last one felt too short, so. <laughs> Impulse crying in a corner somewhere. <laughs> no, I mean, we all know I'm going to eat these words eventually, but right now it seems pretty easy. Bum, bum, 
bum, bum, bum, bum, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> We're all crying. I'm definitely going to run through my pick a lot faster than I thought I would. Well, only digging a two, a two wide tunnel like this, it should last for quite a while. <laughs> right, see, the universe just wants decked out to happen. So it's just granting us free ancient debris so we don't have to spend hours down here. Happy fun sauce. Is that enough? I kind of want to go farther. Ah, that's a big hole up there. All right, thus concludes. Boom, boom. Try wither mining too? That's outside my pay grade. That would, that would get me killed instantly. Why is Tango mining ancient debris? I know, right? The dumbest stuff ever. No, I need I need the lodestones, guys. Uh, give me more of this. Give me that. Give me that. Close. Go back into. That can go there. That could. No. 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 That goes there. Beds cause too much fire and sadness. Beds are the biggest. They've been misproven to be super inefficient. Chaining TNT is the way to go, in my opinion when you're blending in fun and efficiency. Apparently digging straight is the real way to go, but. <laughs> right, right noises, I know. Yeah, I miss uh, like tunneling machines in Create. That was so much fun. You guys remember the Create series? I made that tunnel digger thing. It was like 50 blocks wide. Just destroyed the world. It was amazing. And then the thing breaks and starts getting away from me. <laughs> Always good times. All right, Kaboomy! We're going to get zero on this whole pass. You watch. Because I deserve it now. Aha! Men's pick. Huh? Oh. If I cared about that. I mean, sure, I guess. Not too fussed. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, we didn't miss any. Why did I shoot the debris? Just to let everyone know that I see it. Because otherwise it'd be 75 comments. Debris on the left! Which I appreciate. I need people to tell me because I will miss them eventually. There we go. A threefer. Oh, that's a wall of sadness right there. Years among training, that's right. Okay. Doing great. Look at this. It's everywhere. Ooh. Oh, that was almost bad. I mean, we're gonna fall in lava eventually. Did he just use his annoyed stream washer voice? Yeah, I did. This stuff is like candy. It grows on trees. Okay. Doing good. We got it all so far, right? 
Oh, debris can't burn. Right, right, right. Okay. I forgot about that. Oh, well, that's not where I want you to explode. <laughs> Wait, candy grows on trees? Absolutely does. Yes. <laughs> okay, I see those two. Just making sure I didn't miss anything else. How many do we have? I think probably like 25 or so already. We've got nine on us and 27. <laughs> Huggles for impulse. <laughs> impulse, I don't know what the problem is, man. I think you might need to reevaluate your tactics. You weren't digging with a shovel, were you? Just saying. <laughs> Stuff is everywhere. I can't believe how much I've gotten. Do, 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 do. Ender chest left behind. Thank you. Hey guys, if anyone sees me leave my ender chest behind, just, just let me know in chat there. Where is it? There it is. Thank you. Boop. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was all another two right there. E Z. I know I didn't pick it up. Hang on. How many low stones do you need? I think I'm shooting for 50. You know, I want to have we have four levels of the dungeon to do probably more than 50 to be honest, right? I mean, do some rough estimates. We have four levels of the dungeon. I probably want at least 15 spots. Yeah, maybe 60 like 15 spots. The more the more I can get the better, right? If I cut corners and only do like eight on each level, people are really going to start to learn where those spots are. And it's just not as fun. The more I have, the more interesting each run is. Oh, that was a good run. Okay. Where is it all? Uh, no, I want about 60 or more lodestones. So 250 ancient debris ish. But that feels like about an hour and a half at the rate I'm getting this stuff, right? Impulse. Oh, he hates me. <laughs> Let's go. And wait for it. <laughs> oh, hey, look, Impulse. There's more up ahead. I don't know if you saw it or not yet, but there's more up here. Right here. Just a few blocks away, even. Like, it's right there. Um, I don't know if you saw that or not yet, because it's just more. It's right there. <laughs> this is the most fun I've had. <laughs> oh, look, there's two here. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even go shutting down your stream. Uh, it's the greatest thing ever. I'm gonna have to get a shulker for all of this stuff. How am I gonna carry all this impulse? That was a problem you had, right? How did you how did you carry so much ancient debris out of the dungeon? I mean, at some point it gets 
encumbering, doesn't it? It's all right. He'll get the last laugh when I burninate myself here, probably. He'll <laughs> log in just to be like, ah! Okay. Thus concludes that tunnel, I believe, right? Didn't miss any here. Man, that was a crappy tunnel. We only got like 15 or so out of that. So, I mean, it's... We're going to have to really step it up on the next one. <laughs> Impulse is going to anti-raid me. <laughs> I'm going to come back to a ward in my base. That would be amazing if there was a ward in my base. Save me some time. How many have you gotten? Let's see. We are probably at 34 in... How many minutes did we do that? It is, it is pretty nuts how many I'm getting here. I mean, at least you say so. If, if you guys, if I was doing this by myself and I didn't talk to Impulse, I'd be like, this is normal. I don't, I don't know how this works. This must be just the rates that you get it at. This seems pretty easy. Next tunnel down. Streamer luck confirmed. Yeah. Check behind the lava. I mean, or, or dig an extra five blocks. It could be anywhere. Yeah, I'm not going to. There's no reason to dig behind one special place. Ah! Go, go, go. All right, we're going the other way, it looks like. Okay. Junk borders. Here we go. We did that one. Oh, hi, friend. What an odd place. He's like, eh, why did I spawn here? I can't move my face. <laughs> All right. So we did this chunk. So this one's no. We want to go another one. Sorry. Where is it? Right here. We'll go skadoodle along this line here. <clears throat> uh, one debris per minute. I don't know. Have we been doing this for more than 30 minutes? <laughs> I think we're about one debris per minute right now. It's the going rate, right? Alright, we gotta watch here so we don't walk into lava. I imagine we'll probably get an ancient debris or two just digging out this tunnel. <laughs> the current rate is, uh, it's got impulse. <laughs> The reason I'm doing along the chunk borders is I'm blowing up into two two chunks and it greatly increases your chance of, uh, of getting more since you can only have one ancient debris per chunk. Pretty much films. Pretty much. That's exactly how it goes. Lava does move fast in the nether. One cluster at least. Yeah, but whatever. Tried to. That's a unfortunate 
One vein per chunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, boink. This is weird. There's nothing to click on here. Why do you hate me? There we go. Maybe. This is this is probably just a bad place to be at this point, I think. Can I power through this, maybe? There we go. That's gonna be not fun when I blow that up, though. There we go. I was almost bored there for a minute. I mean, we went about a minute and a half without getting one. Unacceptable. Fire res is your friend. That's why it's on the bar. Yeah, to me, there's no reason. I, I've seen people do this and they like constantly ha drink fire resist potions. And I'm like, why? Even if I, if, even if I plunked right into a pool of lava right now, I would still have time to switch to my bar and drink the potion. So it's not like lava doesn't kill you instantly. Time to boom. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this down as far as I can, really. People panic. Yeah, the heart rate does go up. I'll, I'll admit that when you fall into lava. What I should have done is grab some fire, fire prop four stuff here. Cause then you can like swim in lava all day and it's just laugh at it. If you have like two pieces of fire resist four gear, it's like lava doesn't even hurt. <clears throat> oh, good. Do, 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 do. Ever miss OP armor? What do you mean by OP armor? I mean, short of it being Netherite, my armor's pretty good. It's good enough for me. Yeah, I, if I was if I was smart about my gear, I usually put fire resist on my pants. But without wearing a helmet all season, without wearing a helmet all season, doo -doo -doo, um, having the extra protection is kind of nice. Oh, 114 armor? I honestly don't even remember. I mean, trousers, yes. Why fronts? Oh, you had the, you could have every enchant. I honestly don't even remember that. I remember like talk of that. I don't remember actually doing that. It feels like a thousand years ago. To Y fronts. Whoa, okay, that was a lot of lava we just unleashed there. And that's good. Let's uh three, four, hi. Let's get some more going here. That's not my ender chest. Let's uh let's just grab three stacks so we're not messing around here. I don't know why I put those in the, the brain is hurting. What am I doing? Okay. Throw that over there. Doink, 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 doink. Doink, doink, doink. Take that out of there. More of it over there. Put that in there. We're up to 38. That there. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I still have to get to a uh, an ancient city. I still want to get Swift Sneak. Perfectly honest. And I want to see how many skeleton heads I can get. Oh, I, from what I've been told, you don't get many. You only get like four or five at most per ancient city. The white skeleton heads. I want some of those for decoration, but mostly I need to get some swift sneak. Or I could just, you know, buy it from Impulse. Maybe I'll just pay him an ancient debris. That pig, that pig's very sad right now, yeah. I love you, pig. Wow, this is a long tunnel. <clears throat> How are we gonna pull out of this tunnel? 
20, 25. <laughs> Two, three, 60. There's a, there's a big lava lake in the middle of it, which is going to be really hard to navigate. Holy cow. Longest tunnel ever. Just like two full stacks of TNT. <laughs> I think I did tunnel to Narnia. <laughs> what? That is crazy. I'm probably going to get the first one. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, I thought that was it. All right, didn't miss any here. I'm just afraid of there being some like up in the thing, like. I would absolutely miss it if so. Looks like karma's hitting right now. There we go, one there. Aha! Under lava and gravel. I mean, yeah, the thing is like, it's not worth my time to, to check behind this gravel and stuff. There could be some, but there, there could be some right there too. Like it could be anywhere. So just expose as many blocks as you can per minute is the only goal. <clears throat> We're hitting a dry spell here. Not liking this. Not liking this at all. I missed one. Only one person says it. That means I didn't. That means it's a troll. <laughs> Nothing. Two so far in this run. How sad. Right now, there's an impulse giggling somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Why did that lava split? Maybe it's just two sources. I don't know. Hey, 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 with the lava and the burning. Go elsewhere. I am on a trunk border, yeah. Uh, let's not do that there. I keep forgetting the debris doesn't burn in lava. Yeah, sorry. Oh, this must be that massive lava lake. Yuck. Oh, there's more. Excellent.
mine around the debris to uncover more debris. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna. It can only come in. Oh, oh, oh! That's a separate. That's a separate thing. Can it form on angles like that? That was like not even adjacent. As I as I was saying, like that's they can be on diagonals. Okay. That's weird. That's unlike most other ores. Like diamonds and stuff aren't like that. Is that the end of our tunnel? No. Oh, okay, good. I was like, oh, this tunnel's like a mile long. <laughs> I totally ate my words there, I know. You know, I was I was mocking that resource pack before, but now I'm kind of like wishing I wishing this ancient debris was like neon orange or bright green or something so I could see it in all these top left. Look up. Did I miss one? I don't think I missed one, did I? Bottom right, top left. Those are different things. Those are opposites. Straight reverse diagonal left right debris left yeah 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 I got that one by the way guys you should always dig around the debris because you never know where there's gonna be more see <laughs> how many did I miss already now because I was <laughs> because I didn't do that oh look there's more over there guys oh, it's getting hard to carry. Go back, I know, right? I know the ancient debris doesn't work, doesn't burn, but I still don't want to have to jump down there to get it. It's easier if it just drops at my feet. Has anybody seen some lava around here? Jeez. Gonna burn my face off. Did we, get, did we just get nothing there? I think. I mean, I know there's a lot of... A lot of lava here, but... I don't think there's any here. What's up, Miles? How you doing? <laughs> Hot, evil orange juice. Still nothing. Boom. This is this is bonkers. Boom, 51 ancient debris. You dare me to fly back? I don't think so. Not this time, kids. 
No way. <laughs> Stick around. Fire resin fly. I could do that, but it's not the it's not the lava that would kill me. It's the kinetic energy. Oh hi. Whoop, whoop. Thirteen on this run so far. Savian, thank you so much for the mini bits. Did I get those? I thought I already had one in my inventory. I'm confused now. Did I pick those up? I got them? Okay. Do we really have 4,500 people here? You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. One plus two equals three. Cat, slow down there. Listen, you're gonna start breaking out the advanced math here. You're gonna confuse me, all right? Wild win, thank you! <laughs> well, you're a lot of unnecessary lava. Nobody likes you. Purple, thank you for the biddies. Nothing in that blast. I thought I thought I saw one. And, oh, that was the previous one, I guess. Lava has feelings too. Slugger, thank you so much for the gift of subs. Kelmore! Thank you. Kelmore, I thought you said you were leaving. Did I make that mug myself? No, this is made by a uh, master, master potter. There you go. Mcraft 47 made it for me a long time ago and it is one of my favorite things. Uh, I was gonna say, we haven't seen ancient debris in at least a minute and a half. So therefore I need a, a two pack. Did I say Harry? I don't even know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Full story in the game. I think he's gonna wish me uh congratulations and kudos on my success. I think that's what I think that's what he's gonna say to me. That's what I would imagine he's going to say. <laughs> going to need a second stack, too. We're going to have to empty out my... <laughs> Can't carry it all! <laughs> Service healer, thank you! Ender chest! Ender chest is in my inventory. Like honestly, I, I I know I know uh, Cub did the uh, did the tests and everything, and I trust that. But man, TNT feels way more effective than digging in a straight line. Stuff is everywhere. Uh oh. And 
TNT is way more fun, yeah. Oh, have we reached the end? I think we finally reached the end, right? Are you... Are you sad, Lava? Right? I think, I think we'll go ahead and call that the end. Was that 20 in this run? Probably. 58 now. Fly back. Ah, oh, you guys are jerks. If I fly back, I will splat myself. I got, I'm going to drink. I'm going to drink a potion. All right. Bam. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave, and splat. Easy. Piece of cake. <laughs> we measure the ride back in splatters. That was a three splatter, triple splatter. All right, let's do chunks. We'll do one more at least. Okay, so this one was this chunk and this chunk. So this chunk we're skipping. We're doing this chunk and this chunk. <laughs> you can't triple splat a double splat. <laughs> Evil, you're the best. Evil, we better be playing this week. That's all I'm going to say. If we're not, if I don't stab something this Friday night, I'm going to stab something this Friday night. That's all I'm saying. This feels like a not good place to be. Hmm. Do I just, do I, is, is it one or is it, is it a whole lake is what I'm trying to figure out here. Skip a chunk. <laughs> Skip a chunk! The good thing about chunks is there's always more. Are you experiencing a burning, a burninating sensation? Yes, yes, I am, James. Oh, I have potions on. Look at that. Fire resist. Either way, I don't want to go through that nonsense. Turn that off. Put on the boy five or six? Nah. I totally forgot I had fire resist. And right, that, that one chunk just had 75 of them. Absolutely. Why, why am I not clicking on anything? Is there nothing down there? Oh, it's just unhappiness down there. If only I had my lava walker boots on, I know. Whew. Should go check Impulse's shop, see if he's got any more of those. Come on, give me something to click on. Oh, everything's fine. This might not be the place to go. <laughs> A fiery pit of despair. Oh, there's nothing to click on there. All right, we'll, we'll just blow this little short one up here. Short tunnel, let's go. Yep.
<laughs> Are you on fire? Hug the DNT. Ah, <laughs> uh, comments I want to make. Whoop. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. <clears throat> I missed the gold ore. I need to do a right ear reveal. You like that? You heard it here, folks, guys. Right ear revealed on stream. <laughs> okay. We're looking for the stuff. Hey, there's one. That's weird, why? I guess because I'm watching chat all the time, it's over here. And now I did not have a horrific ear injury in the war or anything like that, in case you were wondering. Hey, that's not... Okay. Oh, bam! Bam! I'm starting to think it's not luck, guys, right? I mean, luck is one thing, but at some point, I'm just awesome at this. <laughs> Sorry, I could not laugh. Uh, there were just two of these a second ago. You guys know me, I'm all about the constant bragging. <gasps> I know, right? That's very job. God, I'm, I'm, God, I'm telling you. This is actually bonkers now. Like every explosion. You know what? I don't want this lava. For some reason, I feel this lava needs to go away. There we go. Uh, the one's over there. <laughs> Which way did I come in now? All right, this way. I got lost there for a second. But why level is we're doing this at Y15 for the most part. Did I miss another one? Oh, hey, there's one. Thank you. Was it? Was it hidden by lava? But <laughs> Impulse already saw enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> He's like, you ain't getting this lodestone now, you jerk. That's too funny. Okay, is that the... I think that's the end. Thus concludes this run here. <clears throat> Tango is more observant than Impulse? No, that is absolutely not true. Tango is not more observant than anyone. That was a zero splatter. 
But it was short. Joe Apple, yeah, I know. I was already mocked. Mocked? I was already mocked. This looks like an impulse tunnel. Yeah, Hoover. Yeah, wa just watch Among Us and you guys will know how bad I am at perceiving things. Free tunnel. Honestly, you're right. Why not? Right? It, it looks like it's in the right spot. Skipping this one. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's not straddling a tunnel, though. It's not straddling a line, so it won't be as effective. I honestly think that straddle the straddle the chunk line is like the way to go. Magnum, see you later. Thank you for hanging out today. I appreciate it. So yeah, I was uh, next episode. I was debating like I, I wanted to do a buildy episode, but I kind of want to make more progress on decked out too. You know, so. And given what we talked about in the stream, I think I might just focus on next episode being, I'm going to start it tonight, today, uh, entry hall, like start at least mocking up the, the grand hall where the shop will be, all that stuff, get the scoreboard in place. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. I mean, I, I it's no secret. People want to see decked out, you know? Are you lava everywhere? You're lava everywhere, I think. Yeah, that's okay. We're, we're just going to blow you up right here. That's cool. Look at this overachieving lava. Get back where you belong. You would like to see my base? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I would like to see it done too, honestly. Like every time I see those floating towers, I'm just like, uh, Scar is mocking me from afar. need to work on what you have the most inspiration for i mean that at this point that would probably be decked out every 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 episode i really don't want decked out to linger Ooh, second stack um but at the same point i don't want to do 10 episodes in a row of it Yeah, we're only a quarter of the way to what we totally need. So you can count on there being another stream of of this. Not not this week. I'll probably space them out, but yeah, we'll definitely have to do more of this. At least I have you guys to talk to. finish tonight now I honestly I don't need the lodestones right now I'm just kind of doing it because I wasn't sure what else to do this stream and I honestly thought designing the scoreboard would take longer come on all right did I miss any What? Oh, is that is that the extent of this tunnel? Oh no, I was like, I knew it was a short tunnel, but release floor one of decked out. Nah, no chance. That would be a total buzz kill if I did. Part of what's gonna make decked out great is that overwhelming sense of exploration, of knowing that you're gonna run the dungeon five or six times and not even have seen a quarter of the dungeon, and that's just gonna make people, I think, gonna be really excited about it. When's the next Milk Sog podcast? I don't know. <laughs> that was the, that's like the number one video on my second channel. Like ever. Milk Sog. <clears throat> C 
Cinnamon rolls are mocking me. Whoa, how did all that not get explodificated? Is it all because of the, the blackstone? Oh, and then the gravel fell on top of it, I guess. Yeah, combination of the two. <clears throat> Bam. Feel like I wasn't paying attention and might have missed some. Triple stacker. Is that a four? I think it's a three. Eh. Oh, come on. All right, we didn't pick any of them up. I got one of them. Okay, two, three. All right, we're good. Let me, uh, let me just make sure there's not another one up there. What's the tally now? I know this does feel like a dry spell, right? Wasting my time here. Fine. Do you bring presents? I like presents. Present? Oh, feel how heavy this is. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's the kitchen sink cookie. It's so who has the best wife ever? Bam! It's a four pound chocolate chip cookie. Thank you very much. Directly into the face. Oh, that is good. That is so good. How many episodes do you think I'll take to finish your main base? Uh, Scorpius, good question. When I decide to do it, I'm gonna do it. It's going to be a beast of an episode. I'm going to finish out probably all of it. It's probably going to take a week and a half to design. That doesn't count the rest of the biome modifications and stuff, but we'll get the we'll get the Citadel done the next time we do it. Oh, these are so good. You guys definitely don't want any of this. Oh, so yummy. Uh, I think we this is where we. Yeah, that's where we ended up. What flavor is it? Chocolate chip. It's amazing. It's gooey. <laughs> it's kitchen sink. It's like made yeah. out of the crust at the bottom of the kitchen yeah. sink. Yeah. Pretzels, nuts, two different chocolates. It's amazing. There might be There's some like powdered glazy bits on it or something too. Well, that's the poison. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Uh, uh oh. Which way did I come? Ah! Don't roll. Uh, I came from. That's this is that's the tunnel that was there. Oh man, I got totally confused there. Okay. All right, so this one no good. We got to dig. We'll do we'll do one more. Uh, we'll just go down to the end of this chunk here. The, yeah, cookies make me lost. That's pretty much where it sums it up. Trunk borders hidden. No, trunk borders. Sh show them. There we go. Bam. Oh, that's, I mean, that was a pretty good hole right there. Yeah. Bam. Anything else around here? Diamonds. Uh, I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> oh, impulse. I almost feel bad for you, man. Almost. Oh, 
I'm, I'm okay with this. Because I hate doing this. I hate the netherite stuff. That's why I'm doing it on stream, because it makes it tolerable with you guys. If I wasn't streaming, I would be miserable, even if I got this much. It's, it's cookie power is pretty much it, yeah. The cookie po ah! The power of the cookie exposes all the chocolatey goodness. How much am I at now? I think we're at like 68. We're on the second stack. I'm burning. All right. I want this to be the longest tunnel ever. Or, or, or it could just stop right there. That's that's the thing too. It's all the netherite right for. Uh, lodestones for decked out. I need about 250. Come on. I got. No, no, I, I think this is a big. Okay, this is not our last tunnel. <clears throat> this doesn't count. Not 250 lodestones, 250 debris. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Sundance, I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. <laughs> Just one more tunnel. Well, this one's not bad size. <clears throat> How rare are lodestones? Well, you craft lodestones out of four... Or out of an ingot, which is four scraps. Like you at all. Nobody likes you and what you're doing here. I can smell it back there. There's something back there. You should go to a bastion looting for them. <laughs> those rates wouldn't even come close to what I'm getting here. Yeah, for those who don't know, those stones are for the compasses inside decked out so that you know where to go get your. If you don't know what decked out is, then I can't help you. Watch my videos. Working on some fan art. Later, Ram. Have a good one. Okay, um... I'm not gonna say anything, but we haven't got nothing this run. I guess we got the couple we dug out, but... Step it up. What's even happening here? This is not how this is supposed to happen here. There we go. You missed another right block. That's not how that works. You mean an ancient debris? If you're gonna troll me, at least have it make sense. Yeah, I'm starting to think this is normal and Impulse just had really bad luck for some reason. Which is weird because Impulse is the luckiest person I've ever met in my life. As self-claimed by Skiz. Okay, well that's two. That wasn't a lot. I missed another rack. Thanks. Oh, okay. I think that was the end of that one, I'm guessing, with all that lava. Yeah, that was sadness. All right. Well, that was a disappointment. I missed some lava. Ah, oh, here come the trolls now. You know what? Troll all you want. I got a chocolate chip cookie. The size of my face. I can handle your trolls right now. <laughs> I 
Cookie power prevails. This is where we die, kids. Whoop. Nailed it. Through the one wide hole. All right. Um, yeah. Boom, 75. And was that an hour? Was that an hour we got 75? Supreme skadoodle. I am most pleased. Most pleased with that outcome. I could use some milk sog right now to go with my cookie sog. Closer to two? No, it wasn't two hours. I thought we started after one o'clock or way after one o'clock, almost two o'clock. Oh, how am I gonna get out of here? Oh no. Why do I have so much noob juice? <laughs> Cause I'm a noob. Aha! You can retire the noob juice. Stop at 100? Nah. We're gonna call that an effective, an effective day. We are over, I'd say we're 30% of the way toward our goal of ancient debris. Uh, this is not the way to go home. Wait a minute, what's happening right now? I need to go west. That's east, okay. I didn't know there was a bastion right here. Aha, there's creepy box. What is in that box? What's in the box, man? Oh. What was that? Did I just hear a banjo? Hold on. What the? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Why is there a banjo in the nether? <laughs> what is happening? There's a door. There's got to be a door somewhere. It's the evil death banjo. Oh, wings are good. I have to see what this. Oh, here, here we go. Is it this? I'm going to guess it's this. Skadoodle inside here. What is this? <laughs> it's honestly, I thought this was some kind of like <laughs> intricate banjo death trap for a second there. What is this? This is an LA farm? This is Azuma's. I didn't know he had... Wow. Okay. Did he build his whole starting system in the... In the nether? I gotta catch up on Exus vids. Got it, okay. This feels like nowhere where I wanna be. What, what is this nonsense? Oh, we're here. Done. Done, done, done. All right, let's uh, hold on. Where's my supreme value, my bling tech? Let's get bling tech out and do, hey, look, I had two in there. Bam, 78. That's not bad. Oh, I gotta get these back to grand. Let's do that now. I feel bad. Let's go do that. Hey guys, go to the nether. That's how you, uh, that's how you dry sponges. I learned that. 77. Math.
one. <laughs> oh, my immersion. Okay. 33. That's what we originally got from him. Let's just go down here because I don't think he even has another. Does he even have another tunnel yet? I don't think he does. Which means why am I even going here? I need to go fly out my base and fly over there. He has a portal somewhere, sort of. This cookie is like dinner. God. Oh, I didn't bring a, uh, a shulker. I guess I could just put him on the ground. He'll find him. This is still his main storage. Oh, he's got creepers in here, right? Has he still got... <laughs> I saw that. I thought that was it. Yeah! Oh, I fell. Everything's fine. My shulker prank didn't go off as good as I had hoped. I was very disappointed. Um, Let's see. I feel like I should just put them in one of these. We'll put them here. <laughs> no way, evil. No way. Yeah, maybe it's best if I just... I'll just spread them on the ground here. Can't miss them that way. it in his ender chest it's not funny at all <laughs> okay good enough uh he's not on all right back to the homestead <clears throat> i should have made inverted t's with them yeah God, i want to finish my base I want the middle part to be done it's gonna be so epic and finish this snow biome so much to do. Things take time. That's the problem. Whoop. Done. All right. We are going to wrap it up here. I would say this was a very successful stream. Happy with the ice farm? I am. It's still not enough ice, if I'm honest, because I need packed ice so much. But so be it. We'll deck that to be ready by Halloween. I, that's probably right around the time. If I'm honest, that's another two months. I hope so. It would be it would be great if I could open it up the week of Halloween. And then have so, someone come over and uh, decorate it. That would be great. That would be amazing. Um, all right, guys, we're going to go say hello to Mr. Joker. You know him from the receiving end of my blade on Friday nights, and he's a good guy. Mr. Joker TV, boom. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the subs again today. Surface Healer, five gift subs. I see you, and I probably missed other stuff. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Uh, tomorrow, I'll take the day off. We'll be working on videos. Should be back Wednesday. We'll see. Hopefully, it won't be more exploding nether tunnels. But who can say? Have a good one, guys.